Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks, back with another video. And as you guys can see by the title, today we are comparing the Harden Volume 2s and the Dame 4s. Let's get it. Bro, Adidas are doing a fantastic job. Adidas are out here, you know. They have some pretty decent athletes They've in their roster, been bro. Working. Damian Lillard and James Harden. Bro, I am not complaining about that. They're playing those, two, those two guys, I think. Obviously, Harden, we already know the dude is playing out of his mind right now. The numbers are silly. It's NBA 2K stuff. Damien Lillard, the Portland Trailblazers right now are third in the West. Third in the West. The dude, I think, is top five in terms oh, of MVPs facts. for me right now. Yeah, and facts. he also is playing out of his mind. Maybe the clutch is playing guard in the NBA too. Don't at me with that one. Maybe. At me. But both guys are playing fantastic basketball this season. But we are talking about the players. Talking about the shoes. Let's get straight into it. So first things first, talking about aesthetics. Harden Volume 2 did its thing. It was all about leaked images. Yeah. Leaked images came out. Weren't really feeling them too tough. Got them in hand and on feet. We were feeling them. Yeah. It did its thing. So yeah, clean looking shoes, especially yeah. from the bird's eye view. Especially when you look at some pictures of yourself on the court or go from a side view. Yeah, it's yeah. clean. Certain colorways as well. Certain colorways too. Above. And then the Dame 4. This colorway doesn't do it justice. Still looks super clean, but there are some other colorways out there to me that are absolutely insane. Don't get into They're it. Right all now. black. Oh, let me know. Boy, start it, bro. If Darth Vader had a shoe, it'd be that one. It might be, you know. And he'd, 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 he'd end, guys. You could have right. one, bro. Am I right? Yeah. Fam, that's the kick for Darth with Vader. The, with, the, with the red three with stripes. The red three stripes, all black. Fam. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? Talk to the dark side. <laughs> But looking at both shoes and how they both look on feet, I think the point has to go to the Dame 4. I think the Dame 4 just looks cleaner than the Harden Facts. Volume 2s. But yeah, both shoes look good, the Dame 4 is just clean. Moving on to the traction of both shoes over here, the Dame 4, what we have is the Shark Gill slitted traction pattern, which I thought wasn't going to perform that well. Mm. But it does a really good job of make of really biting the floor. It oh, does a key. really good job of doing that. And a dusty court floor doesn't require that much wiping. So the traction in the shoe was actually really good. Over here in the Harden, we've got that earth shattering, glass shattering pattern, which also does the absolute trick. Again, we were skeptical looking at yeah. pictures. We were skeptical even due to the volume one, but on court, great bite. Definitely collecting some dust, yeah. but nothing a wipe can't handle. So yeah, some great traction over here. Absolutely great job. What I also like about both shoes is the compound of the rubbers of both shoes. They do a really good job of like just biting the floor. Oh, yeah. It feels really nice, like tires. I mean like bike tires, any tires, car tires, they just eat the floor pretty much and it feels good on feet. But when it comes to traction, it's, it's a close one I think oh, between again. both shoes. I might just have to give up to the Dame 4. Yeah. Because it just does a better job, slightly better job of biting the floor and it requires a bit less wiping. So I think the point has to go to the Dame 4. So next up, talking about the cushioning of each shoe in the home, <laughs> we've got that life cushioning. Life cushioning, boost cushioning, same thing really. Yeah. It's just, uh, and we've got a lot of it. We've got a full length. We've got a whole lot of life. And uh, in that you get cushioning, of course, you get that comfort, you get that court feel, you get that responsiveness, you get life. So yeah. yeah. Not much I can really say about that, really. We should have talked about this first. Yeah. There's not much point of doing this one, is there, really? Don't know why we keep doing this. I don't know, we just put us in other positions. Yeah. Just it's, move on. It's an endless cycle. So, Boost is life, but bounce is no joke by no means at all. I think it depends on what you prefer in a shoe. Yeah. Bounce is absolutely amazing. It is. It's not boost is life level but it still gets the job done if you're a guard like myself and you like that low profile responsive court foot type cushion system then balance has got you covered but boost is life and life is no joke so moving on up into the materials of both shoes over here in the dame 4 what we have is this mesh with these tpu yarns underneath the mesh to provide that durability and it moves swiftly into this neoprene ankle collar which gives you that nice one-to-one -one fit the materials in this shoe were really good. I like them. They were durable and they were breathable as well. Required minimal breaking oh, time. Yeah. So the, the materials in this shoe were really good. In the Harden Volume 2, we've basically got forged fiber, which is basically similar. We've got that mesh material with TPU intertwined, but then you've got the synthetics in the back, which help with that adaptive lacing system, and then the neoprene sock booty, which also helps 
all together to give you lots of different materials which all feel really nice on feet. With all that being said, even though they feel really good over here in the Harden, I think the materials are going to have to go over to the Dame. Yeah, I think what gives it to the Dame, I think it's the durability in this oh, shoe. Forge fiber is nice, just not as durable as this this, this um, mesh with the TP yarns underneath it. So. Yeah, for sure. I would also say as well the minimalistic view of the yeah. dame as well. You've got less, which in this case less is more. Yeah. In the harden you've got that forged fiber, the synthetics, and the neoprene. Whereas in the dame you've got that mesh material which combines with that neoprene, which is all kind of one holistic, seamless material. Which yeah. again, less is more. Holistic. I see you, T. I've been reading. I've got to H in my dictionary now. Hands on, hands on things. Now we've spoken about the materials in both shoes. It only makes sense to then speak about the fit. Over here in the Dame, what we have is this one piece construction which gives you that one to one fit and it's absolutely beautiful to me. It's a, it feels so good, it fits to your foot, the breaking time is minimal, it just conforms really nicely and it just feels nice on feet. So over here in the Harden, when we're talking about fit, the forged fiber material comes in like a charm but it's really the adaptive lace system which really helps it massively. Yeah. You can really change the laces to fit you whichever you see fit. So if you're wide footer, narrow footer, or if it's just your preference is a tighter or looser fitting shoe, you can do just that with the Harden, which does really, really work. It takes some time to experiment. So I would also say that's kind of like a break in time yeah. where you have to try them out different lacing systems. So it does take some time, which I guess is the only knock off. Looking at both shoes, it should be a close one, but I think the one thing that lets the Harden 2s oh, down yeah. is that elastic band in the, in the, oh, the yeah. midfoot section. That which kind of pinches your feet a little bit, which is annoying at first, mm -hmm. but I think we both agree that once you break the shoe and you don't feel it as much, it's just a bit annoying. You just really. don't want to break it in really, do you? Yeah, pretty much. I think all of that being said, the point just goes to the Dame 4, bro. Yeah, the Dame's really out here. Yeah. The Dame is really out here. It's doing its thing. So moving on to the support of both of the shoes, in the Harden, we've got this stabilizer slash outrigger to ensure that it helps with support laterally, and of course, to stabilize the boost. We've also got these four foot eyelets, which help with that four foot lockdown. And of course the adaptive lacing system, which you spoke about earlier and the heel counter, which you really can't miss. No. Over here in the Dame 4s, what we have is a heel counter as well. The outrig of the shoe, which prevents obviously any excessive lateral movement. And then these dynamic eyelets, which help lock down your feet as well. It's this nice triple threat support system which does an amazing job of locking your foot down and it feels really good. So looking at all of those points, the support definitely goes to the Harden. Yeah. Just for those few reasons, like that stabilizer outrigger which does an absolute trick, especially yeah. when we're talking full length boost and a really, really nice heel counter. I've spoken about the, the, the band, the elastic band in the forefoot which doesn't feel nice but it does a good job of making sure your foot is supported. So it does it does its job, it just doesn't feel good. Now look at the price in both shoes. Here the Dame retails for £90 and the Harden retails for £130. So that's a £40 difference to me. It's a lot, it's good man. Is the Harden worth £40 more than the Dame for? I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. We get pretty much similar stuff. The only thing that I guess I prefer in the Harden is the boost. Yeah, so right. value for money, the point has to go to the Dame for. I would pay that extra £40. Pound. Oh yeah. Obviously, we have to shoot here, so I guess that was done. Because Boost is life and it does feel fantastic. But when we talk about value for money, the point has to go to the Dame 4. So after looking at all of the points, it looks like the winner today is the Dame 4. Coming out pretty much like an underdog, similar to Damien Lillard himself. The Dame 4 comes out amazingly well thanks to its bounce, its fit, its materials. Just felt really good, even though Boost is life over here and always will be. Dame 4 did its thing. Congratulations. So right guys, there you have it. As always, show your support by liking this video and comment down below if you agree with us, if you prefer the Harden or the Dame, whichever it is, we'd love to know. And as always, don't forget to follow your boys on Instagram, at purekicks.ig and Twitter also, at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, you need to hit that subscribe button to be in with the know of all the latest from Pure Kicks. Hit the notification bell next to it to make sure you get notified whenever we drop a new video. But first things first, hit the subscribe button and get involved with us. So all right guys, that's it from us. This is the Harden Volume 2. This is the Dame 4. We're Pure Kicks. Let's get it.